south, the dirty, we dirty. Uh, can y'all really feel me? I got better girl. East Coast feel me. Uh -huh. West Coast feel me. <laughs> can y'all really feel me? Feel it. East Coast feel me. Say what? West Coast feel me. Uh -huh. Dirty south, the dirty, uh -huh. dirty. Can y'all really feel me? Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Notice anything different? Your girl is pink, okay? We went pink. I've been wanting to do a watercolor hair dye for the longest and I thought in honor of my birthday, I want to do a crazy color with my hair. I mean, I always switch my hair up, but I was like, I want to do a really crazy color and I had done pink before. I did a pink synthetic wig before, but I wanted real hair and I wanted to dye it. I think this is a really cute, fun, pastel pink color. Also, it's springtime, so I feel like, you know, it's on theme. So if you want to see how I achieved this color and how I dyed this wig with watercolor, then just keep watching. All right, so first things first is we need to go over all of our materials that we are gonna be using. First off, I have this wig. I got this off of AliExpress and I'm gonna link it down below if anyone's interested in buying it. It's just your typical blonde wig and that's what we're gonna start with. I also got this tub from Walmart. These two adore hair dyes in the color Cotton Candy 190. And then of course we've got our free spray and this free spray is really important because that is what is going to protect our lace when we dye the hair. So basically once the free spray dries it's going to protect the lace so you know we're not going to get any color on it which is really frustrating. You can see already I have makeup on the lace so that's what I'm using to kind of tint it. But I sprayed it about three separate times and then I let it dry and I kind of fanned it in between and that created a nice coat right over the lace so you know we were protected. So next we're going to take our tub and we're going to use that to pour two pots of boiling water and one pot of regular water into the tub and this is going to be what we use to you know create our mixture and dye the hair in. Um, I, you definitely probably could do this in a sink but I feel like you don't want to stain up your sink. I mean it didn't stain the tub at all but yeah the tub is the way to go. So I am putting one and a half bottles of hair dye into this tub and so the darker you want your pink, the more hair dye you use. So if I wanted it to be super, super pink, like reddish tones almost, I would probably use two or three bottles, but I wanted it to be kind of pastel, light, easy going. I didn't want the pink to be too dark and don't be fooled by the color of the water. It really looks really dark, but I promise when the wig came out, it turned a nice, pretty pastel. Next we're doing the dip test, which is basically dipping the hair in to see what the color is going to look like. Again, this is a great way to kind of track how pink you want the hair to come out. As you can see, it was pastel, but not too pastel, so I put a little bit more in there and got my perfect pink that I wanted. You can kind of finick with it as much as you want, um, but once you put it in there, just know that it's going to die, so make sure it's to your liking. And then I pretty much just let it sit in there. I mixed it around, put some gloves on, and then I made sure to go through with my fingers. This is really important because you don't want the dye to just dye some parts. You want to make sure to get up in there so you don't have any blonde pieces left, which is super annoying afterwards. And I would not want to have to go back through this process again and re-dye it. So yeah, I'm making sure to just use my fingers and comb through the wig and, you know, just make sure that the hair dye is all mixed through. So oh, lastly, I'm just going to leave it in the tub for 10 minutes and I'm just going to let it soak up all that good pink juice. I'm just going to let it soak and then after that we're going to take it out and wash it. But I'm just going to leave it, let it sit, you know, the lace is protected, we good. Alright, so next I am just taking the wig and rinsing all of that dye out. Any leftover really. I'm using the purple dye again, the dreaded purple dye. I had trouble with it in the past, but I really did want to tone the hair, which you can still tone it even though it's pink. I want to make sure the color was even and cute. So I used that purple dye and then I also just used some conditioner that I bought. And yeah, just wanted it to smell nice, smell good. It didn't smell bad at all, but you know, just washing it out, giving it a good wash before we blow dry and straighten it. So next I'm just using my blow dryer and I did put a little bit of heat protectant on the wig just because I mean I did bleach it before if you guys saw my other video I put a little bleach in it and I was putting more hair dye on it so 
I didn't want all the hair to fall out so I was like let me try to be nice to it but yeah I'm just going through and blow drying it out it's a long process if you've ever blow dry a wig out you know how it is it takes like the rest of the hair the tips of the hair blow dry fine it's really the cap and everything else that takes forever but I just took my time and blow dried it out so we could straighten it next this is a lot going on here but I am obsessed with this color this is exactly what I wanted I feel like what is it shark boy and lava girl I feel like lava girl I am about to straighten it and style it. I don't know what style I'm going to do. The two styles that I really wear with this is a middle part and then or a side part. So we are going to see. I'm obsessed. I love it. And can we talk about watercolor is easy. Like really easy. Like this is the easiest time I've had dyeing hair. I love the process. Simple, easy, didn't require any bleach. I mean the hair was blonde anyway, but you get what I'm saying? Like it was simple. Okay, I'm just going to put some heat protectant on it. Then we're going to straighten her out and style her. Right, you guys i think that's gonna be it for this wig video i think it turned out really really good watercolor is the way to go i'm really excited that i tried this method let me know if you guys have ever tried this before if you like this video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button down below let's be youtube friends forever and i'll see you guys in my next video peace